Hello everyone, this is Denise with Something Beautiful Handcrafts and uh, I'm out here in the garage and I am pouring resin for Drop Spindle Whirls. Okay, so um, I have been making the Drop Spindles for the kits with wood wheels, nice wood disc. And those are becoming harder and harder to find. Um, you know what, they were a little harder to find before the pandemic and they're like really impossible to find now unless I order a bunch by bulk but I don't want to order a bunch by bulk because I don't sell the drop spindles like that by bulk so I didn't really want to make that investment and so I've been trying to think of alternatives um, to make the spindles from I tried a few with polymer clay and I, I like those uh, they were pretty cool, but still, I wanted to do something a little different uh, because I'm much better with the painting like I did with the spindles than with the polymer clay. I'm still kind of working at that. So I have this resin. I have lots of resin. Well, I had lots of resin. And I figured it'd be pretty cool to make some of the, the whirls from the resin. So let me show you this one right here. This is one of the finished ones. This is the usual length of my spindle. I'm thinking it's a little more than, uh, actually probably a little less than 12 inches, a little less than a foot. And here's the resin whorl. And embedded in it are some gears, and a little glitter. And I painted the outline with some gold paint. See from the bottom. Still needs to be sanded at the tip. And I'd say this is about a little less than three ounces. And I, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so here are two more whirls. Just kind of flex that back and forth. Just give you a pretty good idea. And this one right here. And they're just waiting for their shafts. Okay, now these two are relatively heavy. They're heavier than I normally uh, have for a drop spindle. So I'm pouring this batch here, which is going to be lighter. And so I'm pouring these in two stages, which allows me to, to make, of course, two layers of um, embeds. And it also allows me to position the embeds a little better because some embeds will float and some will sink. And so if I mix one whole then uh, they'll sink to the bottom. See, this? these guys sunk to the bottom. And this is a second pour, too, you can tell from here. And I don't want everything to sink to the bottom, so I'm pouring in two layers so that I can have something in the middle ground. Also, I can create two different color effects. So this is a, a kind of a galaxy swirl down here. Not really the best way to see it. Uh, swirl down hair and I can put glitter on the top or whatever I want on the top and kind of give it some dimension and that's sort of the purpose of me doing two different pores. Also too this one over here is a bee in flowers and to avoid a lot of bubbles two pores is great. So I have all these little embeds which is another thing I love that's really cool about um, the resin is that I can put all kind of objects in the resin uh, yarn and wool and all kind of stuff like that um, which I would have to paint flat if I you know did it any other way oh look at that that's pretty cool and so I have all kind of stuff in here uh, alpha wood alphabet letters and little jewels and things like that and glitter glitter and lots of glitter uh, it's the one place I'm willing to use glitter because I know that it is going to be trapped there for all eternity. And I so love all these little stars. They are just the coolest thing. Okay, so this is not a resin tutorial. I just want to say that there are like a billion resin tutorials. And so I'm not going to do one. This is just, this is kind of like advertising. Okay. I'm kind of advertising here. My own commercials. Drop those guys in there. These are 
stars, larger stars than those ones over there. So I'm just going to pop these in there. Now I don't know if these are going to float, we're going to find out. These are iridescent. That extra piece of hair in there. And I'm just going to position them where I want them in the pattern. Trying to avoid the center because of course I'm going to drill a hole in the center. So it's not what we want. I want them to look organic which is kind of hard when I'm avoiding the center. Uh, that's a little better right there. That's enough stars. And I may add some glitter if I think they're not going to sink. Oh, let's see, what do we have? Some more stars for the one on the back. Uh, these guys over here were beads. And the, the interesting thing about them is that when I did them for the alphabet letters, they just uh, bled into the resin. But they didn't seem to bleed. So I'm wondering if it's the brand of resin that made the difference here. I just want to mention, I did the color it with mica. I specifically like the mica for makeup. I don't wear makeup. Uh, but I had some leftover from a little trip to a uh, dollar store because I wanted to get some for the card making. So that was cool. Look at these little guys. I'm not going to put those in any one of these. I'll make a special whirl. That'll make a nice Christmas whirl just for that. And I have some pansies I'm going to dry and stick those in there. These are more stars stars and moons or stars and shapes or something like that than these red guys. This will get its own world. That's pretty cool. And I mean as long as it, it fits in the space I can pretty much embed whatever it is I want. Okay I'm going to go ahead and make the second uh, pour. I'll put some pictures at the end of the video and then you can find these in my Etsy shop. I think I'm going to price the entire spindle at $25. And uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to stain. Usually I don't stain my walls. Sometimes I will give them like a, a clear top coat. But generally I don't stain them. And I just give them a clear coat because I like them to stay cleaner. But it... And, it really doesn't matter. So I haven't decided yet, but if somebody has a preference, I can always make an adjustment for that. Here we go. Uh, next time, um, if I do these, well, I'll definitely do more flowers. I'm going to uh, dab these down with a little bit of uh, resin to the surface because no matter what I do, they still float a bit. I thought I put enough on them but they still floated not a great deal of bubbles though so did pretty good and here are these guys and I really like this one okay what happens after this look at that is I will drill the hole through them and put them on the dowel Now these ones are, oh, I'd say they probably are about half the size, yeah. And so this one was 2.6 ounces, I think, and these ones will be an ounce, which is generally about the spindle that I use for the Angora. So not too heavy. It's perfect. All right, that's that. Like I said, this wasn't really a, tour, a tutorial. It was more like a show and tell. Uh, so you're not going to see me send down the edges and drill a hole, but you can kind of imagine that. If you find you are interested in one of these resin spindles, or, uh, or if you would like me to make one custom for you, just go to my Etsy shop. You can find that in the link below. And uh, I should have the listing up probably about the time this video will go up. If not, you can just drop me a message and I'll go ahead and hurry up and put that listing up, you know, because life happens.
Thank you for watching. Have a great day.